So, an interesting thing, you're on eBay, right? Because everybody knows fragrances could get expensive. They might. So you, you find this little puppy, or maybe you're at Walmart, you're like, huh, Sorrow Girl, really nice, fresh, you know, uh, aquatic, clean, salty, metallic kind of scent. Sounds weird when I say salty, metallic, but it works. It's an aquatic, right? So you wonder, like, huh, this is a cheapie, but like, suppose you don't want to buy the whole big bottle. Maybe 40 bucks is too much, you know, or something. <clears throat> so you're on eBay, and you see chromatic for a 100 milliliter bottle, right? This is 30, this is 100. What do you, what do you do? Well, for starters, uh, you're going to have to wait, because this is not in stores, obviously. You're going to have to wait for this to get shipped to you. This can be picked up right away. For a 30 mil, you're going to pay maybe 10 15 at, at the most, right? I think I paid $8 for 100 mil. Obviously, you see, first clue is this looks more like the Azaro Chrome of years ago. This is the Azar Chrome now, the reformulated version that doesn't work as well. <clears throat> so naturally, what do you do? You say, hey, I'll go, I'll go get it, I'll pick it up. So you pick it up, and maybe you have some old Azar Chrome to compare it to. So maybe, just maybe, you sprayed some on your left side, and you sprayed the real stuff on your right. So you get the chrome DNA. You get the the uh, freshness, a little bit of the saltiness, a little bit of the metallic. What you don't get is the strength. This immediately turns into a skin scent, essentially. Um, they looked like they tried to copy the bottle. They just didn't do a very good job of it. Um, and the crazy part is, is like, even Azaro Chrome Sport is light, is like heavier than this, like more scent to it. It's Chrome. Chrome is tricky because. It stays with you, but you don't smell it. You go anosmic to it. You know, the, the problem with these is, well, one of the problems with something so cheap is if it's good, it's a surprise, but if it's bad, you can't really say anything about it because, I mean, You spent, ooh, that opening's a little harsher. You spent, what, eight bucks, right? Eight to ten dollars. Um, I would say they don't open the exact same. This opens with a really, really harsh chemical uh, smell to it. This opens, well, you know, let's be fair. Let's a little bit more. This just opens with a brightness to it. You don't really, I mean, maybe you pick up a little bit of the alcohol, but it's sort of covered by the citrus. Then it goes very citrusy. The metallic, the, the, the sea salt, the, the opening on this is a lot better. <clears throat> um, it's hard to say that something isn't worth it when you get a hundred mils for eight dollars. 
but like if I had to be straight up and honest, which I do, um, I can't see getting this over this. I'm gonna be 100% honest. This doesn't really have any projection. Doesn't really have any sewage, no scent bubble, anything like that. Um, I mean, yeah, it's cheap, you get a lot of it. You're gonna have to use it, a lot of it. Um, and there's in no way, in no way does this even begin to mimic chrome. Like, like it's in a, it's fresh, it's clean, but like chrome has a brightness to it. It has a saltiness. It has, it has some character that you honestly just don't find here. I mean, maybe in a hot, hot day, it might come out a little bit. But I can go put on some chrome and go in a 50, 60 degree day and it's gonna perform just fine. And I'm starting to realize that that's the difference with a lot of these clones is you just, like maybe something like a Fintis, you wanna clone that, clone it. It's $400, I'm not buying it. But for something that's already cheap, I can imagine that this 30 mil is going to be gone a lot quicker than this. Not because, not because I uh, will wear this more to save the good stuff, because this ain't the good stuff. Um, I imagine that in order to actually make this perform, I probably have to go really heavy on this, like 20 to 30 sprays, not kidding because it's so nondescript. Um, with the Zaro Chrome, being a freshie, keep in mind it's a freshie, I generally, one on the wrist, and then, that, and then that's about it. Maybe I'll put one on the chest. But there's probably enough fragrance in this to overpower what's in here. And it's like a little over a fourth of the size. So, um, if your choices are chromatic for eight to ten dollars, or you're at Walmart and these are all chrome for eight to ten dollars, gonna gonna have to go with these are all chrome. Um, hands down. I think I mean obviously this will get used. I bought it. I'm going to use it. But, I don't know when. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna have to go hefty on this just to go through this. But I'll always have something better to reach for. That's just the way it is. Later.